class, it's Larry Delaney, your WEA president, with our lesson for today. And today's lesson is on the capital gains tax in Washington. So let's say that you're a really rich person and you buy 10,000 shares of stock at $20. That's a $200,000 investment. That's a lot of money. And you hang on to that. And after an increase of 15%, you sell those same 10,000 shares for $230,000. You've made a profit of $30,000. Again, that's pretty good. So the question is, how much would you pay in capital gains tax? The answer is zero because the first $250,000 in profits is free, meaning no tax. Now for part two of our lesson. So let's say you're a really, really, really rich person. And instead of buying 10,000 shares, you buy 100,000 shares. At that same $20, that's now an investment of $2 million. So you hang on to that, then you get that same 15% increase and you sell it. Now that same 100,000 shares at $23 a share, you're going to gain $2.3 million. So when we take a look at that profit, now we're looking at a profit of $300,000. That's pretty good. So now, how much is that person going to pay in capital gains tax? Well, remember, the first $250,000 is free. So that person is only going to be taxed on $50,000 because that first $250,000 is tax-free. Now the tax rate is 7%. So when we take a look at $50,000 times 7%, this person will end up paying a mere $3,500 in taxes on $300,000 of capital gains profits. this mere $3,500 in taxes is going to go to, it's going to go to our schools, it's going to support students and communities that desperately need an investment in public education. Let's all do our part and support capital gains tax in Washington.